they say homosexuals can't sit in chairs correctly. Look at the three of us. Right I know. That's, Look I've at never, the three of us. I've this never, is like here. I'm like, tell me I've about never, your food, girl. <laughs> Guys, we're going on a live tour. We're hitting a bunch of cities. Make sure you get tickets below. I'm very excited. We're doing meet and greets. We're going to do a little after party. We're going to drink. We're going to get nude. We're going to have a wild time. Make sure to get your tickets now. They're selling fast. Link below. Okay, everyone. Welcome to Out and About. Spooky season is over. Uh, Christmas is upon us, Joe. That's today's show. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, everyone. Um, do you know what I'm dressed as today? Um, <laughs> a... Rotten piece of shit. Close. Oh, I am <laughs> Buckshot Kate's new baby. Yeah, is that the real name? I hope so. I that is an unfucking real name. If it if is, I hope it is so bad. Congratulations. Call, congratulations, yeah. Kate. She had a C-section. Now she will have trouble um, getting back into back into work, back into the scheme of things at the strip club. Yeah, that she's gonna have the scar, so she's gonna have. But you know, Beef will get her up on the pole. But so. you have a sex. You have a C-section scar from your. Appendectomy. Correct. I do have a C-section scar. It hasn't uh, prevented me from doing sex work. I'm live on OnlyFans. He just showed me the trunk of his cock. He put it on his OnlyFans. Yeah. So now is that for everyone to have, or you, or you have to be in a special message to get that? Um, I'm not comfortable saying. But you have to. So if you want to see the trunk see. of his cock, and it's not. I mean, it's not, how much are you charging people? Ten bucks. It's not worth the ten dollars. <laughs> it's worth much more than ten. I would pay a dollar an inch. A dollar. Okay, so we're looking at about twenty five. We're looking at about twenty five cents. Yeah, <laughs> Vinny, if you were ever in Thailand, would you fuck? I, it? I don't. I answer for you. He would definitely fuck. He probably already has fucked a Thai, a Thai lady boy. Would you fuck a lady boy? Nice, that, smooth that little vagina, fucking Cambodian dick, pussy. But it has a pussy or an ass. Yeah, they have, it has a tiny they. little Cambodian dick no. and a fucking asshole. Nah. You fuck the ass. The, the whole point of a lady boy is they have the dick. Yeah. Yes. I don't think so. You would if you were drunk enough. And you smoke some of that sweet, sweet Vietnamese methamphetamine. Not You're high on Tina. Mm. Joey, same question. No. Of course. I would do the reverse. Is there any You'd Thai for a lady boy? No, is there any Thai like trans men there? That's what a lady boy is. No, I want a, I want a pussy. Oh, you want a uh, MT FTM? Yeah, I want a, a, a boy with a pussy. No, you want M to F. Regardless, no. yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. It's from Boston. Who is it? Hello. Oh, just one second. Hello. Hi, this is Cody with the Wayfair delivery team. Hi. I am calling because my guys are downstairs trying to complete the delivery of your rug, and we were wondering if somebody could give them building access. Are you at what address are you at? Uh, we're at the Madison Avenue address. Yeah, the doorman should be there. Okay, so they just need to uh, go through the doorman. Yeah, you just go go into the building and then you know toward the left, and there's a the doorman should be right there. Okay, perfect. I will let them know. Okay, great. Thanks. Sorry, everyone. That was my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Calling from the great beyond. Um, God I'm rest back to Thai lady boys. Yeah, no, obviously I would. I want to. We say have a Thai lady boy on the show today. Emma Willeman. Yeah. She's on the show. Very, very funny comedian. She's been on a few times. She does. She did KFC Radio. She's got a hilarious new podcast. And I'll tell you this. She has my dream body. I have never I know. Seen, she works out. Oh, she's svelte. They're svelte? Are they non-binary? No, they're binary for sure. She's just butch. She's an old-fashioned butch, butch. She's an old says, uh, Frisco dyke. <laughs> she's an old. She's <laughs> an old. San Francisco dyke. Oh, I, I, I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> I caught on to that. She's an old Should Frisco dyke. Should we do dyke. dyke slander this today? Right before the big reveal? I think that that's a great idea. I think I think lesbians don't catch enough flack. I love lesbians. I do too. They're the most capable people in the world. They have a motherly energy, but they also have a fatherly figure. Yeah. Which is something that I've always been drawn to. Yeah, I, I should hang out with more lesbians. Do we have lesbian friends? I used to have. A, I used to run with a big girl gang in Brooklyn of lesbians. They were my favorite friends in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like my girl, all my best friends were, were lesbians in Brooklyn. I ran, I ran with the elite lesbian group in Brooklyn. <laughs> How many? Uh, what's the ratio of lipstick to bull? Um, L, give me the L to B my, ratio. My my closest friends were. They were bull, obviously. No, no, no. One was bullish. <laughs> um, How many stags of the group? There's a lot of them, but no, there's, you know, my, my home girls, you know who you are. Shout out the names. Kate, Kenny. <laughs> Kate, Kenny, John. Annie. Brian. <laughs> Rex. 
I'm like kidding. <laughs> Laser. Malibu. We just start naming off American gladiators. Um, speaking of lesbians, I need to thank the Man Mafia for their unwavering support of me during this tumultuous time in my life. I, Is it that tumultuous though? You I knew he wasn't read, the last. I read the comments <laughs> and I see them and they are very, very What are they saying? Nice. Your nose, your nose isn't big. Thank you to Man Mafia for the support. I really appreciate it. I read the comments and I love it. And I'm not going to bleed you dry for a fucking plate from Crate and Barrel. I'm just going to take. <laughs> I'm just going to take the. It was a serving. I'm plate. just going to take the take the support and say thank you. I really appreciate it. Your I I value you without your monetary fucking. I don't need monetary gifts to feel your love. That now the nice floor you. is yours. Well, back to red eyeshadow. <laughs> we have a new trend alert. What's the new trend? The red eyeshadow trend that you're starting. What is that? <laughs> oh, here? Oh, that's crazy. It went to your it went to your hands and your face <laughs> as well. Do you know whoever's in charge of my oh. cosentics appointment? Oh. <laughs> Do you want to talk about reading? Vinny, that's, call, Vinny, that's called the read, Do you my want to darling. Talk about reading? <laughs> don't come don't come for me. Don't come for me. Yeah, um, I, do you think that we should not, I'm not gonna do it today, but I think I want to start doing watch alongs. Yeah, I'm like willing to do all, like I'm willing to do anything. Like, well, I want to watch do... Paris is Burning and react to it. How many of our people have seen Paris is Burning? Let us know in the comments. Do you think any of them have? I'm sure. I think that so. Jesus Christ. Sorry, the people can't get in the building. Hello? He planned this to let people know that he has a doorman. Hello? <laughs> um, you just hang up on them? You should call him back. No. I do need to get my psoriasis medicine, though. I do, there's been a back and forth. Did we have any, I think we have new insurance here at Barstool Sports. Yeah, we got to fill out our insurance. How do we do that? Do we, is there a group setting? Mm, I don't know. You got to read your email. Oh, I'm there? Yep. Um, what else is going on in the world today? Did you read Brittany's book? I did. I did Brittany's book. You read it cover to cover? I'm, no, 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 no. I haven't read I'm not going to read it. What do you have it for? Just then? have it on the shelf. Why didn't you bring it? I don't it? read books. That's Why didn't gay. you bring it for publishing week? What? Why didn't you bring it in for publishing week? What's publishing week? It's the big week of everyone publishing their books. Oh yeah, we had Danny Pellegrino on. He published a book. Should we write a book? I want. I've been writing a cookbook for years. The title of the the title of the memoir. No, my memoir. You know my memoir. Trish's. Ta <laughs> Trish. No, I already have Trish's tacky. I already bought the name of it. Weedqueen.com. No. What? My book is called. Um. Joey, get out of the shot. My life living in the shadow of Snooky's poof. <laughs> it's my memoir. You're not in the shadow of poof anymore. You've oh, but I was it. for many years, and I want to tell my story. Do you? Sh I think that's great. You don't even need to write a book. You could tell right here on the podcast. Well, I got to charge him. <laughs> huge, uh, huge shout out to the studio team again for uh, a stellar job with these mics. Can you hear us? This is yeah, great. Yeah, your mic is all over I the mean, place. I mean, like, no, it's as close as it can go. Should I just I'm in a foul, nasty mood. I'm sorry. Well, if I looked like you, I would be too. <laughs> Why is that? Just because you're... Do you believe how we dress when we come to work? No. I was getting dressed today. And like we both have, very, we both have a living very nice lives right now. Um, and we leave... We, this is how, this is how, how um, financially secure people leave the house now. Is it? Is, I'm assuming that's, you know, when rich people, like when like billionaires, I'm not saying I'm even close to that. We can have billionaires like dress like homeless people and like, and that's just how they do it. It just naturally happens to us. Look at us. Oh, is this your first time being financially secure? No. Yeah. I've been dressing like this for years. I'm just saying. It hit me. It hit me. That the, but now it's okay to the do. The juxtaposition yes. when I step foot out onto the main stage. Um, I'm so Jesus sorry. Jesus fucking Christ. Shut your phone off. I'm sorry. I have. Now, if this is your couch coming. Hello. From the, from the apartment. You can't go in through the, the, with, the, with, the, with the doorman? Yeah, but the doorman is, is not open here. But... He's uh, not there? So no. um, what Joey doesn't realize no. is he I hasn't lived in the doorman account. building for a while. Outside you actually need to use a service entrance. Are you upstairs in the... Something in. So it's cute. Are you, are you, through, the front, are you through the front of the, the building? No, from the department. And, department. Uh, oh, upstairs. Yeah, oh, yeah, just leave it in the hallway. Leave it in the hallway. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. So sorry. I thought I thought he couldn't get past the first security guard to the second security well, guard. Well, you have actually hired – now, Bill Joey's building Private armed security. security guards. No, I have my own security that stands outside my door. Like, remember Kim got robbed the, with the, um, in, the, in Paris. I know. That was very triggering for you. I know. So I have, I have someone staying outside the, my apartment door. Well, you've had them since your time on 88th and 3rd. You actually had armed guards – 
outside the parlor her level. Her name was Florence. <laughs> her name was Florence. And it was actually one of the dykes that he ran with yeah. in Brooklyn. She's able to come able to go. That's a nice part about being wealthy is you're able to kind of employ your friends, which is something that Joey and I have really kind of leaned into. Well, you employed me first. I did employ you. Yes. Yeah. And we employ, now we employ, um, me. <laughs> Vinny. Can you stand up for the group? Joey told Vinny to turn around. Joey, stop. I want to see the back of a sweatshirt. No, I want to see oh what your sweatshirt God. said. What does it say? Trout pussy? What is it? Piss ant. It's, it's French. Here's the plot synopsis. Trout poussant. Tout poussant? It means all powerful? All, pow all powerful glutes. All powerful. You, you think you could crush a walnut in your glutes? No. Maybe back in my day. I, you think you could, what kind, what's the strongest fruit that you could crush in your glutes? Uh, probably Liam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got the gorilla grip. You have gorilla grip? You know that's a term that they use in porn, gorilla, like a gorilla grip pussy? Yes. Gorilla grip. That's they, what I said it. But they use that in a guy's asshole as well? Well, I have a double sphincter. What did the, <laughs> they stop making those in set in they stopped making those in eighty one. <laughs> the technology's obsolete. They stopped making those the same time they, the same time the Buick Veranda went out of style. <laughs> you so have, Oldsmobile you, went out in 04. No, you with the have, you have, everyone has a double clencher Helix? in their sphincter. No, there's a Can second. Can you Google how many sphincter how many how many It's sphincter? called one and what he's referring to is it's called a second hole and it's like a fake porn term. No, 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 no. I mean, like when you no, 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 my dear. There's the hole no, 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 where the no, no, silicone's no. up. There's also a hole up, up further in the canal. Is that true? Like it helps you pinch out what loafs. Am I, what am I looking up? Long dick dong. No, I'm <laughs> double sphincter. Double sphincter. He knows how to spell sphincter. Did you go to college? <laughs> Nailed it. Pelvic double sphincter control complex. I mean, we're not going to read this. Oh, and it's a dot gov. I ain't trusting that, brother. Yeah, that's how they find the gays. That? I do want to say it again. I'm saying it again. Man Mafia, thank you. I love you. Your support means everything. Okay. I'm feeling emotional today. I don't know why. Do you want to talk through it? You're, well, sh I'm, I'm feeling now, very emotional. Now she went She went to, on crisis mode yesterday. She went to a, to a, 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 to a, a gypsy. <laughs> I went to a gypsy doctor. She went, she went to a gypsy doctor. She went to a, 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 a what's it called? A, um, a clairvoyant. No, 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 no. An, an astrologist. Not a, a witch doctor? Or? I, went to, I went to a Mennonite witch doctor in the woods of the Hudson Valley. And she gave her, he gave her 90 pills for his anti-anxiety. He showed up yesterday and he said... Um, I don't remember being on radio. I took one of these pills. They're like, oh, it'll help you sleep. I took it to help me sleep the night before. It hit me 15 hours later before fucking radio. I was like, I was like, what is... I was like, am I fucked up right now? And then, lo and behold, we're shooting this Thanksgiving thing. And I'm like walking around like... I have no idea where I am. This woman should be arrested for giving me those pills. I don't get you. You, you can't take an over-the-counter fucking anxiety those pill. Those are the, the over-the-counter drugs are the strongest drugs there are. From a woman. What's uh, that have to do with anything? <laughs> uh, for, those are the strongest. Like, Joey, okay. So that's the, uh, when Joey goes, well, women can't be doctors. Yes, they can. That's the, that was, I'm telling you, that I mean, was like fucking scary. I went home and I threw them out. I took one. I go, never fucking again. It was too much. How much was the insurance? Insurance? Was it free pills? Yeah. Why? You want them? I'll go fish them out. I'll go you fish them out. out. No, I, mean, I don't know what they do. What are they called? Tell the group. I can't tell the group. Why? They're called. Fed I don't even fed? know. Something. It's called <laughs> it's something with an H. I don't know what it is. I don't like to disclose my medical history. You Hip, took hydroxycut. It was hydroxycut. It was hydroxycut. <laughs> no, oh, that's what I felt. I felt like Anna Nicole Smith yesterday walking around just on a pill. I had no idea what was Aloof? happening around. Aloof, and then I was doing the knives in the kitchen with the thing. It was. Oh, we had an event here yesterday. Oh, yeah, we tell we shot a very fun um, Halloween episode, sorry, Thanksgiving episode of cooking, and um, I hosted. I, I did a tablescape it was for. Awesome. I, the thing is, and in, 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 um, in Barstool, the producers are very um, underprivileged. They work long hours. Didn't you get that? Feeling underprivileged. I don't know if under. <laughs> why, then why did Dave? Then why is Dave trying to give all the money to them? Again, I don't know if that's I. I don't know what you're talking about. I think the word is underappreciated. Uh, underappreciated. Yes, yes, that's it. Underprivileged means like you come from a bad home. Oh, and no. You don't have opportunity. Let's clean that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's clean that. yeah, no, yeah, I think, un I want, I think no, they work. They work so hard. Yes, they, they really like, do. Yep. All hours of the night. So I wanted to do a nice Thanksgiving for them. Yep. So I did a ta I brought a tablescape in. You brought a tablescape in. You brought a weight staff in. You brought I brought a weight staff in. I brought a poppy, poppy in. And an enlarged poppy. For the kitchen staff was large poppy. You were technically staff, but I was physically were, there. Mentally, you were just I was on another planet. And, and, um, and Frank the Tank. 
Frank the Tank. He was great yeah. too. And then I had wait a wait a full wait staff, a bartender. I had a full staff here, and then um, we did delicious. Food. What was your favorite meal that, that oh thing my, we made? I last will night? say that everything was so good, but the tuna tartare that you and your dad make is yeah, f- it's like blow your ball like next level fucking delicious. The sausage stuffing. Ah, sausage talk about stuffing. it. Hey, oh, so, did you oh, have oh, some? So, uh, yes, yeah. the sausage stuffing was awesome. The tuna tartare was good. Thank you. Whatever was on the was it like polenta? Polenta with my um. Oh my god, that my, was my great. crispy mushrooms. That with, was um, good a, with a gremolata on top. And this isn't like that as exciting of a pick, but the sweet potatoes were fucking amazing. Oh, good. They're so the sweet good. potatoes were so good. Thank I will you. say this, everything was so good, but are marshmallows on sweet potatoes white trash, Joe? They are, but that's why I brought them in that's here. Fine. Okay, good. So I, just, I, don't serve, I don't serve them in my home. As long as you know. I don't serve any sweet potato. I mean, actually, if anyone knows me, I hate sweet potatoes. Why? I would never. I my, think they're sweet, sweet potato fries are the worst thing in the world. Oh, because they're so, they, don't, they, don't they don't crisp, crisp the right up, way. And they're like soggy, and, there's yeah. like, and I don't like <laughs> sweet things. It's like, don't but do it. This, uh, sweet potato is a superfood. Vinny, in your bodybuilding days, would you eat sweet potatoes? After I would eat sweet out? potatoes. Sweet potato fries, I would say, personally, jumped the shark for me. Like, I used to, that's all I would have. Really? What does that mean, jump the shark? Like, just, I don't know. Like, it just, it got, it got overdone. <laughs> it, went into, it went too far. Oh. Like, I was having sweet potato fries, always over regular fries, and then I was like, I can't do it anymore. Because oh. they're just soggy, grease, yeah. grease sticks. I'm, I'm back on regular fries. <laughs> soggy, <laughs> grease sticks. That's what they used to call me back in college. Soggy, <laughs> grease stick. I'll have a yucca fry. I'll have a plantain. Ooh, plantains. Now, we almost did Cuban Thanksgiving. I can't have plantains. Why? Why? You just ate sweets. I don't like sweets, and I hate, I don't like any, I like a banana, what's up, but just, I just hate plantains. That's, you have a really, you, you have a very advanced palate, yet there are certain things that you don't like, which I don't tolerate, I don't need me. to put, I don't need to, my body's a temple, first and foremost. Absolutely, always has been. Um, I, that's why I dress it like this. This is my late mother's sweatshirt. Is it? Yeah. Let me see. I actually was gonna, I was just about to comment on that. Is that Cape Ann? Cape May. Cape May. It's a very beautiful uh, little co- little coastal town in New Jersey at the foothill, at the very bottom of New Jersey. Very tip. Let me see. Tip How 90s? Jersey. You know what? That's like Princess Diana where she wore the sweatshirt. She was running on the field with William. That's what that is. That's 90s. That's, uh, that's um, JFK Jr. Yeah. That's, that's the very vibes. like. It matches the building that you live in. Thank oh, we you. haven't even talked about the fucking, I went over to Joey's house. It is, I walked, I pulled up and I had a smile on my face. I was ear Did to ear grinning. Me? It is the most 90s New York chic Joey. There's a vestibule, you go in, the elevators are brass. I walk in, there's scented, yeah, they're, 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 scented candles galore. I mean, the rug. They're I, vaulted. They're vaulted. They're vaulted. Excuse it's me. Vaulted. vaulted. Elevator ceilings. It, it, is, it is peak, peak Nana. And uh, Mama, we made it. Well, we made it. We made it. We're moving it. on up. Moving on up to the hey, east Mama. side. Um, and your apartment is, I'll tell her about her apartment. It is quaint. <laughs> it is homey. It is quintessential <laughs> Un- New York. It is... Um, Unfinished. West Village. Well, it's not. You, that's because you gave up. He gave up midway. He he ordered a, a bed frame and he goes, you know, I'm just giving up. <laughs> so, that's what I did. I and ordered happens, one bed frame. It, um, it has sh- it's and he faces the street on a brownstone, first floor of a brownstone, and he has little shutters. It reminds me of the plantation home that um you and I grew up on. Yes, that's <laughs> true. We grew up on very cute shutters. Um, get tons of sunlight. Um. High ceilings, yeah, and it's centrally located. So High you know neighbors. you're, you're going to need to be out uh, out and about, quite literally. Um, if I just don't if know what sure if you're going to get married by the time you're forty. <laughs> right. Let's get back out there, girl. How no, fuck on the horse? No fucking shit. I just can't. It's like all the things you don't you think know, about. I need fucking forks and knives and plates and bowls. Take the ones I made for the party yesterday. Take all that. Where is it? It's upstairs. Those are beautiful forks. I need I essentials. I need a fucking. I got twelve plates. Twelve paper towel plates. rack. I need a fucking. <laughs> I have an extra you know what chair. It, you know what I it need... sounds like you need a registry. Yeah, yes. Oh God. <laughs> Now, if that, now, now who's laughing? Now, now, now it will come full circle. We're Should smarter, I make a registry? Harder. Should I? Where do would a you regi- register? I don't see. I don't know. Where do you register? Well, for your style, I think you should register. Here we go. <laughs> Talk about it. Does Talk it pig- about it. Piggly Wiggly. Where should I register? Tell me. Leather band? <laughs> well, what you, you essentially you need forks, knives, pliers like that. I would register on Amazon. I need fucking bed sheets. Amazon. Register on Amazon. Register Amazon registry. Extension cords. I'll buy off your registry. Jewels and diamonds and. I'll buy something <laughs> off your registry. What will, uh, <laughs> with a stolen credit card? Whose credit card are you stealing? I don't know. 
We don't know yet. Yeah, maybe I will do a registry. Are you looking at the Man Mafia? Yeah. Is that us? I just want cash. No. Is that a, who is? Oh, that's May. No, that's Dave. Vinny Singh stop, is up on the. Stop reading right my now. text. Oh, is there any dick pics in there? No. Are you gonna show us a, a bare ass pic or no? He probably doesn't have one. Straight guys don't have one. No, yeah, we don't do that. They don't do it. Um, you know what's great? My, my people don't do that. Guys, we have a new sponsor. We're very excited about them. It is Ritual, and they make the best vitamins ever. Ritual takes the guesswork out of the vitamin game. Their multivitamin for men is based on science to help fill common nutrient gaps in the diet to level up your nutrient goals. Your nutrient goals. And it's all around when. Here's the thing. A lot of people stop taking the vitamins when they're like, when they age out of the Flintstone vitamins. Remember those when you're young, you take the yeah. Flintstone vitamins and they were like candy. They were delicious. Yeah. But it's important you have vitamins into your adulthood, especially if you're a guy. I never know gaps. what to take. I, well, here's the thing. This is what Ritual is going to tell you exactly what to take. Ritual makes a scientifically developed multivitamin with high quality key ingredients in a clean bioavailable form. Say that three times fast, Joey. Bioavailable form, bioavailable, bioavailable, form, bioavailable. bioavailable form. My drag name was used to be bioavailable. <laughs> <laughs> Ritual uh, is your new type of two a days uh, from helping support heart health with omega-3 DHA to normal muscle function and normal immune function with vitamin D3, this small step can have a major impact made traceable because where your nutrients come from is just as important as what they're for. So that's key. If you take a vitamin, you want to know what's in it. So you're not just taking some random pill. Everything they make is traceable. Ritual is vegan-friendly, non-GMO, sugar-free, gluten-free, major allergen-free, and their capsule has delayed release design uh, to help make a gentle approach on the stomach. So you're not going to take the vitamin and have some fucked up stomach ache. That's not what Ritual is about. They make it very easy on your stomach. And there's a minty essence in every bottle to help keep things fresh and help take things, um, taking your multivitamins every day, actually enjoyable. That's right. Essential... Essential for Men is a quality multivitamin from a company you can actually trust. And get this, Ritual's offering our listeners 30% off during your first month. Ooh. Visit ritual.com slash about to start Ritual and add Essentials for Men to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash about to start Ritual's Essentials today. Oh, what's good about what's happening in your situation? What? You dodge Christmas presents. You don't have to buy Christmas oh, presents. Oh, fuck. That's right. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that at all. At all? You have a nephew... And your sister's pregnant. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. Is so my someone si else pregnant? No, my uh, sister-in-law just had her second. Oh, that's what it is. But they don't, they're young. They don't need anything. Um, I'm gonna get, I want to get Nick Tarani a gift. Okay. Because I'm staying at his house uh, for when we go to Chicago for a Chicago show. What oh, that's gonna... what we're going to talk about. Philly, hello. We got 30 tickets left in Philly. No, we have 50. He's lying. No, we sold, we sold 20 more. We have uh, some tickets left in Philly. We're trying to sell that bitch out. So if you're in the Philadelphia area... And we have some specials. NBA guest star is coming. We have a Philly native here. Well, you can tell him. We have Pat Beverly is going to be our guest of the show. He's going to interview him on stage, talk about the game. Um, we're going to talk <laughs> about um, the scores and the um, <laughs> sports, the <laughs> athletics. You're going to have him take his shirt off too when he goes on stage? Pat Beverly, he's probably cut off. He had a hell of a game the other night, didn't he? Yeah, yeah I watched it. <laughs> Did uh, yeah, that's right. You asked me if I watched the game. Like, well, like, what game are you talking about? Because Bay watches all the sports. So I watch. I, I watched Pat Beverly's little show. He was on with the Celtics. No, she's a sport queen. Wasn't he on the Celtics? Yeah, with the Celtics. I don't know. No, who did no, Philly he, play? Who did they play? Oh, who did they play? I don't know. I, I don't know. I saw his little game. That was cute. And Roan then Roan may come. Who? Roan. He may Does come he live in Philly. No, but he may pop down. He's there all the time for because he's with Pat Bev doing things, so he may come. He's a Philly native. Yay, you Philly native rain. Go birds. <laughs> they're God playing bless, the Bucks. He has it. Who the fuck? Yeah, they're playing the motherfucking Bucks, yo. Yeah, green team, close. They it was lost, green. though. That was close, yeah. And um, then I watched a football game yesterday. Who played? Um, I watched the game. It was from the Lions. It's called the Lion Leap. Not like the Lambo leap. This nice. is the, they they jumped they leaped right into the lion's den. That's what they call it. Nice show. A lion took home uh, twenty six. Um, my little Joey Bosa did not win the game, but he looked fucking hot doing it. And was I it think Chargers and Lions? That's the lesson uh, here. As long I as you know. look good. I didn't watch. It you was know, Lions you know and who? Me. Yeah, it was Lions and someone. No one cared. Maybe Chargers. Finney, you're supposed to be our 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 straight frat mask He's too jock, busy trying bro. to show his ass off to the man mafia. Yeah, he literally loves showing. Vinny loves doing cake play. Well, I have a sweet tooth. Four? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Well, it was gotcha. Lions Raiders. Lions, oh, Lions Raiders. Raiders. Sorry. It was, it, was, it was Jimmy Garoppolo. Is your girlfriend jealous of us? Uh, She's she, getting there. She, yeah. she does, I want her to be. She does feel like Joey is a little too aggressive. She's, <gasps> she's saying, 
Not not like yeah. now, but she's she's like I'm in a competition with Joey. She does bring that up. Oh, she's sweetie, like, she's no like, she's like, like, oh, she's like, she's like, Joey, better back off before I step in. She wanted to talk shit to you the other day. Well, if the comp, well, the competition has begun. Let, let the game. I go. Well, let the games begin, my dear. Like drag race starting early this year, Mama. Yeah. I'll see you on the runway. I'll see you on the main stage, Mama. What's, what's her name again? Brenna. Wait, well, wait. we'll see you on. We'll, jo- see, we'll, well see the you games the- have begun, Brenna. Bring your A game, darling. Joey, res- Joey responded to our. Uh, we had a couple's uh, Halloween costume. And, what did he and respond with? A pig emoji? I, I or forget. Something? I forget which what he said, but she was trying to scheme up like a like some kind of comeback to him or I was something. Try me, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want to be giving her graces because she will be able to get me a script head one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh. <laughs> Well, we can cut all of that. <laughs> Maybe I can have a fucking proper diagnosis. Yeah. Um, if you come at if you come at mother, <laughs> know that you may be put in time oh, out. What's going on? You may be punished. <laughs> When's the semi climaxed? It's been a weeks. Week a, week, a weeks. I think the last time I did was the day before I moved into my new apartment, so Wednesday. And you blew your load right on your chest. No, on a on a um on a cutout of a press on. <laughs> You have to come to our live show if you want to know what that story is about. <laughs> so I blew it on actually a cutout of a frilled pillow. <laughs> What's the gayest thing you could blow your load on? Other than a man. Uh, the guy's asshole. No, other than like any like man. Like what's the gayest photo you could blow your... <laughs> a some, photo? Some sort of interior design. I think a doily. <laughs> <laughs> you blow your load. You know I was looking for a doily yesterday for my trays? I said, y- 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 y'all have doilies? He goes, no, 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 no doily, no doilies. I couldn't find doilies yesterday. A, a doily. You know what? Does not anyone. Oh, now you try. Now, how does it feel? That was my alarm. Oh. There's uh, a doily. No, doilies. <laughs> Vinny's so straight, he doesn't even know what a doily yeah, is. Yeah, I needed to. What's I, another? What's, let's, stay, let's stay on this. Gay a needle point? You your, a needle point? A, a silk plant? <laughs> <laughs> needle point? A needle point? Um, Some sort of frilled A baked pi- good? Frilled pillow? <laughs> a baked good. Um... An Asian. <laughs> um, a, a sham. Oh, yeah. A sham. Oh, my God. You blow your load on a sham. A dust ruffle. A dust <laughs> ruffle. Yes. <laughs> We're doing decor items. Um, it's just any uh, decor. A, um, a, a fabric p- coaster. Yes. Yes. A, a p- coffee table. An end table. An end. <laughs> <laughs> a credenza. A credenza. A plush. <laughs> A plush bath mat. Oh, do you need? Do you need another? I got a bath mat that was the wrong yeah, color. Yeah, give it to me. What is it? It's three feet. It's four, uh, five feet wide though. Is that what? in your bathroom? That's a. That's about five feet long. That's about two and a half feet longer than what I can, like <laughs> fit in my bathroom. No, it's 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 just the wrong color. If anyone needs a gray light blue and it showed up, <laughs> five foot bath mat. Let me know and I'll send it to you free. Silk plants. Antique antique furniture. Anything antique. Anything in Blowing your load at the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get so jazzed up, you have to go into the into the men's room. Fuck off, my antique. Oh, goon. I do need to do some antiquing. Do you want to go antiquing with me up in Beacon, New York? Do you know what it means to actually antique someone? Yeah. When you I should fucking send you this face. video that I have of <laughs> antiquing my friend Lloyd. It is the funniest thing what in the world. It? It's where you, you walk flour. up behind someone, you dump water on their head, and you throw flour at them. Can we oh, see it? Sucks. So they were doing celebrities for a while. Snooki and I wanted to get um, flower bombed our, um, on the red carpet, and but no one would ever do it. <laughs> if I was in your life, do you know what these are? Storage unit keys. No, these are spoons. Oh. No, these are keys to my new apartment. Why are they? So why is black and red? What does the different colors mean? Um, bloods and crips. Crips. No, I have extras. Do you want? Do you want to have the extra spare to my apartment? I already gave my, all my extras away. I gave oh, th- three I people have imagine. my keys. Imagine you probably gave extras before you gave yourself one. I did. Let me ask who has. I'll ask his poppy. Three people have them. Poppy. Leah. Yeah. Yeah. I know that. I know my Joe. I know my Joe. And Caitlin and, Walker. And Caitlin Walker. <laughs> Caitlin Walker's gonna be the one that finds my body. For sure. Yes. She's going to she's gonna get mad at you for like- Overspending the budget. Yeah, you're going to overspend the budget. She's going to come knocking on your door because you're going to miss a shoot and she's going to find you fucking Bobby christina <laughs> and the fucking tub. No, I know better than to get into a bathroom. Remember point of privilege? Yeah. We have to start saying that again. We have to bring back point of privilege. Should we do a, should we do a trans scream? A trans um, Gen Z scream? He, him! 
Ah! I think I want to bring back point of privilege. I want to bring back presenting. Do we bring back presenting? Oh, there's a Halloween costume here today. I was going to say, there's a Halloween costume. We're not participating. Here. Halloween I costume have, contest. Contest. <laughs> I have to leave because <laughs> I, I can't be here. I have, I have a carpet outside my door. Why can't you have uh, – why does they bring it into I got apartment? confused. I thought the doorman couldn't let them in the building. The le- doorman couldn't let him in my on my floor. So you just have a massive carpet outside of your unit right now. Yeah, the hallway's 30 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, speaking of long. large units, we have Emma Wilman on the show. Yeah, she's got a bigger dick than both of us. She is one of the funniest comedians in New York, one of the funniest comedians, I think, on the is planet. Is it a comedian or is it a comedian? For her – well, it's comedian. It's a very like it's derogatory. Like, I think no. Roseanne Barr used to call herself a comedian, but that was the eighties. I love Roseanne. Um, oh no, she's bad now. Je- she told uh, K- Jesse Kirsten told us she's she's crazy now. Yeah, she's, she's not doing bad stuff. Emma Wilman is not. Emma Wilman's crazy in all the right ways. We had a very like relaxing, chill, very funny convo with her. She gave us some great advice uh, on our health, which I know you guys like to hear about, on our fitness, on our physique, and on our careers. And to on be honest Gen- with you, I don't exactly remember what we, we talked about. We recorded this in, in 04. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I recorded this right after um, the tsunami in Sri Lanka. So I'm having trouble remembering. Um, but November 1st is here. That means everyone get your Christmas trees. If you don't celebrate Christmas, um, don't get a tree. I don't know. It's holidays are here. So it's, it's the holiday season. Mm-hmm. It's the kickoff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Thanksgiving's kickoff. Thanksgiving's coming up. Christmas and Hanukkah are coming up. And um, whatever you celebrate is coming up. But yeah, it's, it's 45 degrees here in New York today. Things are looking good. I want to say thank you to my mafia for being so nice to Pat um, <laughs> during his transition. And there's, oh my God, to, I I should transition. Talk about it. I literally should. How great would that be? It'd I be good content. Even more about me. So here is our good friend, Emma Wilman. Before we do ads, just, let's hear ads. <laughs> just let's see a bear. What wasn't? Didn't you want me to pull something up? Do you want me to do that? Oh. We're back. I want to pull something up. I have to call Joey out on some fucking bullshit. If you guys were remembering my apartment, Mr. Anti-Tuft, look who has the tufted couch. Explain yourself. I'm sorry for the echo. It's too large in there. (laughs) He's talking about his hole, not the room. That is Expl- oh my god my eyes oh god explain you yourself you look like you look like so want to stand as helpers in that explain yourself okay Mr. That- anti fucking tuft first of all that couch is six years old okay I did not, so that six, six years ago I, I, a tuft was okay now it's not and, and it was even it was even like outdated for the time and the time mother <laughs> six years ago I got that couch so I so I'm saying as a new homeowner I, there's tuft now is, is and it's, I've been haunted by hating that couch for so long. Of course, I have the new potato barn couch that's being custom made in linen. And while well, you picked the color, it's, it's the um, Sugar Shack Glacier. Sugar Shack Glacier. Great. Um, so that's coming. Yeah, but yeah, tough to, to get rid of tough to things, girls. And I, I wasn't, it is a good call out. It's good. <laughs> that's it. That is the most it's just a accountability spot. I have ever seen. It's just a holding spot. My other apartment, I know mean, that was for that one. This is just you know, something for people to sit while they wait for mother to cook. Okay, here is Emma Willman. <laughs> After this move, I think we both can use a double session with our therapists. Uh, I'm telling you what, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp, and I am For so good reason. Thankful, I'm so thankful they are because they have helped me um, so much. Out and about is sponsored by BetterHelp, like I just said. And the thing is, it's like you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way. Every single day. Like, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. You can't take that first step. Like eating healthy foods instead of McDonald's at 4 a.m.? <laughs> yes, exactly. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. That's right. I love the help uh, therapy because I never liked in-person therapy because, first of all, I don't like leaving the house. Look at how I show up to work. Right. Imagine having to leave the house to go to a doctor's appointment. Um, no, thank you. So I like to stay in bed where, I, where I'm safe. Okay, yes. and no matter where you are in the world, you're able to use BetterHelp because it's 100 percent online. That's the best part. Um, it's more affordable than in-person therapy. You can get matched with a therapist in about 48 hours. Just go online, fill out a brief questionnaire, and from there you're matched with your therapist. And you, and you can switch therapists at any time if you don't like them. You know, say bye, girl, and get a fresh one. <laughs> um, I like it because it can specialize in all different things, whether it's LGBTQ, LGBTQ studies, if you're dealing with trauma from something in your past, whatever it is, whatever specialty you yeah. need, you're able to find that. Or what's happening right now? Yeah, you're able to find it um, with BetterHelp. But that might not be available in your area if you live, you know, in a remote area. 
Australia. So this has everything for everyone, and um, I love it. I think one of the things, too, that I realized through BetterHelp is that the stuff that you that people struggle with, it's not just specific to you. A lot of people struggle with a lot of things, and the people at BetterHelp are trained to help you figure out what steps you can do to make life a little bit better for you. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Joey and I swear by it. We would never point you in the wrong direction. Like he said, it's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you do is fill out a brief questionnaire and you get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash out and about today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about today to get 10% off your first month. Can I do a nice little thing I'd like to do? Yeah. B-E-T-T-E-R H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about. <laughs> well, we are here with the queen, Emma, Emma Williman. Williman. Thank you so much for having me, guys. You look yeah. so good in blue. Oh. I appreciate that. You guys both look great and I'm so proud of you that I haven't been in this new studio. Oh, it's mm. new. We, we, we've, we've it's stepped a shared, our, we, it's a shared space. We stepped our pussy up. Mm. We're only tier two so we don't get a, um, no, we're only tier three. Or, no, we're two. They have oh. different tiers here they use to, it's really? like, to based threaten us. on like, you know, race and gender and that sort of thing. Yes, of course. <laughs> right. They told me that right yeah. when I walked in. They said, we got to assess your tier. <laughs> then they, when I went in, they go, okay. And then they put me in here. I said, I'm here for another <laughs> show. And they go, you're for out and about. And they made yeah. me go in. They go, ooh, lesbian, we're going to put you in the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look out great, by the way. Your body is stunning. I really appreciate that. I've been working hard for it. What yeah. have you been doing? <sighs> How do you stay so fit? <laughs> I'll tell you what it is, and I hate saying it. I've been working out and watching what I eat, and I hate to be that person. Yeah. I'm you, sorry. It's go, literally that simple. I hate it though. Do you go to Lucille Roberts? What gym do you go no, to? No, I. Do you know what? <laughs> yes, I, I know, know what, what it is. is. Someone explain. It's, it's like an old women's only gym from the 80s. Lucille Roberts, Roberts. the women's only gym from the 80s? You yeah. would kill. Yeah. You would kill. Oh, Vinny's, go Vinny's there. pulling it up. They're still around. They just are. one in Queens. It's a I, lesbian gym? No, no, it's but like it's, soccer it's mommy a little ladies bit. Ladies only. I went to it in um, <laughs> Brooklyn because it was right near where I used to You went to Lucille Roberts before? Yeah. What? Ah. Well, was, that's a perfect place for a lesbian to go. All women all the time? It's like Boy Scouts for the gay guys. It was, it was, an, it was this is a long time ago. Oh, they're ago. still up and running. Look. Yeah. Fitness that fits. Let's see this. There it ah. is. Oh, the font is still the oh, same. Oh, they're hot. This was a long time ago that I that find I a went gym. Let's see it. where the next closest with Lucille Roberts is. Do you think any Man Mafia members are members of Lucille Roberts? It was the one I went to was pretty on its last leg. Like I remember the machines were like not plugged not, in, not not so good. Yeah. Have you ever smashed not, in the gym? No. Thought about it. Mm, the gym doesn't really turn me on. No. You're there, well, that's why you're in good shape because you're there for business. Right, you're reasons. there to work out. And I mean, we go to the Gays gym. are there for selfies and to get, yes. think, to get their dick sucked. That makes it hard to focus though. Like, what are you guys supposed to do? I, mean, I just like to do a couple reps just so I, so they don't yell at me to get off the machine. But then mm -hmm. I get back on my phone and take selfies, change my music. Um, I, I, um, I do my items on storefront, yeah. you know. You register? I register for things online. What do you think about when you go in there? I think about... To the gym? Yeah, I'm you like, here. I'm physically here. I'm physically here, so I'm actually doing something good. I made it here. That's half the battle. Yes. And I feel like, you know, I'm going to do a couple things and... You know, how long should I stay before I don't leave? And I also know my boyfriend checks my location and he knows how long I'm at the gym for. So it's like. Does I he want you to go? He wants me to go for health. He doesn't care what I look like. He knows I'm, I, I'm having some heart problems lately and cardiovascular <laughs> things and and uh, cholesterol issues. So he like wants me to go for that reason. Sure. He um he loves my body just the way it is. He actually, he loves my body just the way it is. Good. Get a girl. Every get curve. It. Get it. Every, every nook, every, every cranny. Every nook and every cranny. <laughs> I Nash started doing the lines of cranny. <laughs> It's th the food's the toughest part, though. I think I don't know if you have that. Oh, I love cooking it and di you dieting. Do? Yeah, no, I'm but good that's at it. the thing. It's like you eat so clean. Tell us about your food. What do you eat? But this is the part that's you can't the toughest. Say pussy. The, <laughs> the, the, this is the t <laughs> this is the tough. That's the toughest part. It's been like I mean, it'll be like lots of protein, carbs, and fat. But it's to, I, I either eat for two reasons. Either I'm doing it because I'm like trying to do like a healthy thing and I'm pretty strict about it, or it's a mess. Or I'm eating because <laughs> yeah. I'm upset. Like. Last Wednesday, I did a college, and I, I got this, like, really shitty hotel out in Syracuse. Ooh. 2 a.m., something snapped. I wasn't hungry. <laughs> oh, this is so relatable. I go was down. Was it Papa John's? No. Oh, thank, you went to the cafeteria? I go, I'm at the hotel. No, imagine I went to the cafeteria at the yeah, school. The school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the and then you jump, left. Some, you jump someone for their meal card in the, yeah. in the, in the, in the quad. <laughs> at 2 a.m., like, is that the comedian? <laughs> Back off, I'm starving. <laughs> I went to the hotel lobby. They had no food out. 
Except, you know how they do like the breakfast buffet? Like the, yeah. So they had what was going to be on the topping for the waffles out. Oh, it was breakfast time. Bre- but no, it was 2 a.m. They were prepping breakfast. They were prepping the breakfast. Gun. Were you drunk? No. And so I go in. Don't I just drink. something oh, you don't snapped. Drink. Right. I wanted like, I was just like, I'm comfort. I'm angry. And I went down and I took all the Oreos that were supposed to go on the breakfast topping. Oh, no. Took all of them. They're already crushed up. Topping drizzle. Put them in a bowl, and then I found some milk and put it in, and then I was eating it. No one stopped oh, you. No. no one stopped me because I was alone. And then the guy came in. I said, "You got any cookies back there?" And he was like, "You doubled down. I doubled you went down. back for the second bag." Yes. Once you pop, you can't stop. I know. That's I my know problem. It is, sister. And then I started talking to a therapist. So I had her on Monday. So I'm like, I don't know. In what the lobby. I I'm wish. <laughs> call. Call. Just make be my therapist. Mid- 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 Meanwhile, I just, I just trauma dumped on Emma for like 20 minutes before we started. No, and please. I was like, hey. Also, it's like processing life. If that's what's going on yes. in your life, you got to, yes. you know. Yes. But, but so you- my thing with food's real choppy. I gotta, I'm working on balance because it's tough. For, either I'm eating for stress or I'm eating for health and it's... Yeah. Well, you balance. have to have some vice. You're, you, you, you limit yourself to a lot of things. You said yeah. you don't, you don't, don't drink. drink. Yeah. Day at a time, don't drink. Yeah, so That's I think at any time in life you need like some some vice, and it's like not that you're abusing food, but you know sometimes that's what you have to do. You have to have something that you know to treat yourself with. Yes, or I'll when have you're going through it. I don't feel like I'm treating myself when I do that though, because it's not like a fun thing. It's more like angry. You feel more you're angry at yourself for doing it while I'm doing it yes. too, because it's more like I'll be like fuck this, fuck that. It's not like. Like when my girlfriend goes out for a piece of cake, she's like, oh, this is so fun, like the delicious cake. I'm more like. You want to kill yourself after. Yeah. Or while I'm doing it, I'm just like, screw everybody. I'm just going to like live under a bridge and eat cake until I die. Only like, when you're doing the diet. <laughs> only when you're doing the diet. Or if you're, if you're like off, no. you're like, if you're not on a fitness journey at that always. The time. It's I'm always. Always. Like because that. that my fr- when I was a kid, that's how I used to like. Were you fat? Yeah. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh. You have something yeah. in common with Trish. That's this so is funny. It's true. I feel guilty <laughs> I've never battled with every me. meal that I eat. Really? Every meal. What about you're skinny? What are you? What are you, I say, what are you guilty matter. about? It's every meal I eat. I say I could be eating better. If I get a mm. Chick Fil A sandwich on a Friday, I do Fillet Fridays. I Fun. feel I'm like this is bad. I got to go do something. Or I because eat a fucking you're afraid your health pasta. is going to be bad. Or, or I, you're going to gain. You've never been overweight. You never gained no, because weight. Skinny. You have a 30 inch waist. Skinny fat is worse than regular fat. Is that what you tell yourself every single time you're eating? I feel like I just yes. heard the voice in your head. Did, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel. There's so many hangups about, we all have so many hangups about this stuff. Can I have nothing for myself? Everyone <laughs> has a copy like, you're, you're both are physically skinny, but then you're still complaining about, about I get, And I get that fat. annoying. That's my thing. No, yes. I get that. I totally Do you know get, what I mean? No, I know exactly Pick what another mean. struggle. Because when I was <laughs> like, like- bony shoulders or something. It's I like, get that too. But it is interesting hearing someone who's so like lean be like, oh, I think that too. Mm. My therapist said, she was like, you know, once you start doing something about this, you can stop thinking Does about everybody it Does everybody have a the therapist? I just got one. I have one too, but- I've, I've, I've been doing better help forever. I can't believe everyone's done therapy now. Yeah, it, it really does help. It does change your life. I'm doing a therapist and it's good, but it is expensive. I know. That part stresses me out. Well, you know what's great about better help? You go online, you fill out a brief questionnaire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes, you're matching the therapist. Yes, oh. I, bet, I bet I could get a discount. <laughs> well, if- yeah, well, you can get 10% off your first month if you go to um, dot com slash out and about for 10% of your first month. I'll tell you but what. Before I did better help, it's 350 bucks an hour. Woo! It's not fucking cheap. Woo! Yeah, she was the real deal. You pay the person to tell you what you want to hear, though. That's why it was extra. Absolutely. Wow, that Absolutely. was just why it was extra. You better not fucking agree with me, or I'm shutting that credit card payment down. <sighs> Three fifty. They take credit yeah. cards. Yeah, I ever- get this. In the second I was done, bing, boom. There's the thing. God forbid you go three minutes over on the hour. It's crazy. It's true. And that is why I have been living in Central Park. From but here. They in the have rambles. Therapy. In the rambles. Have you heard of the rambles? No. Oh, you don't know what that uh-uh. is? You grew up in Philly, right? Maine. Maine, Maine. that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Rambles is, you know, the, the the biggest premier gay cruising spot in the Central Park. Ooh. It's underneath like a little it's underneath like a little bridge thing. And the gays have been having sex there for years. And you just kind of walk up and you so I I don't I never done it before because um fact of the poly, I'd like a polygraph on that one. Well, no, the reason <laughs> being is I'm not I'm not we have to walk to the wilderness to get there. I'm not right. walking through a, taking a hike to get my dick sucked. Well, you could wheel there. I know, but I don't know if there was a ramp there, and I don't want to. You know, there probably is not a ramp for me. Get a little scooter. Probably not ADA compliant. The roots, well, the roots will catch you up. Yeah, I would never. You never catch me, like like actually physically walking or or, no. or exercising to get dick. When you like, go no, in you. there, do you know if you're going to be the sucker or the person getting sucked off? Well, I think it's all about perception, Emma. <laughs> I think if you go in, <laughs> I'm just always curious. I think you kind of know what you're looking to do. I guess. I mean, what what happened last time you went? <laughs> You know what happened last yeah, time right. I went. I was there. <laughs> I was there and I had a ball gag. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I caught posing sumac. 
<laughs> I was kneeling down near a, 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 a brush. So my pussy was pussing for days. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, the rambles, it's been shut, it's been, so many cops have like shut it down uh, there. But so many celebrities have been there. I think um, Neil, Neil. Um, we need to give cops more power. Neil Lane. <laughs> Not Neil I Lane, think it's Jewel. those things being open <laughs> that relieve so much stress for people. You know what I'm Did saying? Did you climax today? No. I haven't in a few days. I'm stressed out, too. I'm in the middle of I'm, I'm apartment hunting right now. So stressful. It's the worst. It's so it's so destabilizing. I wouldn't wish that on my best co-host sitting next to me right now. It's <laughs> having, to find, oh, having to find a place. I wouldn't oh. wish it on anyone. It's Whoa. so destabilizing. <laughs> and especially in New York, it's like moves so quick and it's so expensive. It's so, I'm sorry that you're going through that. I know. No, it, su- it sucks. And you think you get a place and it's like, not that I wasn't approved by anything, but it's just like, you know, you think it's going to like work out and then like, like so you're hunting for so it. I'm hunting, you know, I found a few places I like, but then I'm just cut back the, the, do the, uh, the ending, ending processes of them. Like figuring out I want this one or this one. I'm between three places right now. And you know, the deadline's coming. I was kind of make sure I got, I picked the right one. Why Absolutely. Just stay? I can't stay. I already gave my apartment away. Someone already rented it. What was the problem with the apartment you're in now? Um, I'm rich now and I don't have to live in the swirl anymore. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You're upgrading. Yeah. I just you would, you know, you I've been in a place forever. I've been in a place forever, and you know, it's like you know, I, I could sign for another year, but like, why? It's time to go. I need a bigger place. I have my, yeah. me and my boyfriend, or you know, we're not living together, but we, he's he's over like five nights a week, so it's like I need any bigger space. I'm happy for you. Yeah, That's I need great. a sectional couch. I need, I need, um, you need some things. Yeah, I need some things. So I'm, um, you know, it's I have two weeks until I, you know, have to be out, but. You it's so stressful because stuff always pops up. Yeah, yes. and then I found pops the place. I found. Up. I think I found my dream place, but I'm still on the apps looking. I'm like, ooh, this one has you, you know. A, you have an interesting has. living situation. Emma. I live with my girlfriend in the East Village, which this is my longest relationship. I, I've lived with one other girlfriend before. How, How long? Was, uh, we've been together about three years. Wow. But I, I now, I now. That's your long longest time. relationship. Yeah, by a, like a landslide. Because you. How did you guys meet? At a show. One so, of your shows. Yeah, so it was during, it was when there was, it was COVID, things were kind of coming out of COVID, but it, everything was still pretty locked down. She had a mask on and her tits out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's your face. We it was Lucy, like a, the fuck. it was like a speakeasy comedy club situation. Oh, and in order for the club to even be open a little bit, they had to be able to have food served. Oh, so, I know. I'm doing. I'm on stage, and then she had ordered a pizza to Ooh. the club. Now I didn't know you could order pizza From into outside. the club. I didn't know that. So all of a sudden, I'm on stage. It's already like the, like end of times enough. Like there's people with their masks on spread out, and then I look in the doorway, and there's a guy. Did anybody order a pizza? Just yells it into the During show. Your show. Yeah, and I'm. I go. What? Is, what is going on? <laughs> and then she raised her hand. Like I ordered a pizza, and I was like, "You can order a pizza here." And then she was like, "Do you want some?" And I was like, "I'm good." And then, the, and then that was how we ended up. Was meeting. she by herself? She was with her cousin, and he, she had been helping him move all day. So they had been like moving and drinking and having. Was wine. she? Did she come there to see you specifically? No, she was a fan. It was just a showcase show, like pop up out in Brooklyn, like totally random. Oh wow! So it was all random, but I'll never forget that pizza guy standing in the doorway and me being like, I was just like, what? was it a, like a large pizza, like eight slice <laughs> large? It was a big. It was a. I remember enough the to share. Enough to share. And that, and here you are three years later. Three years later. Isn't that she, wild? You got the mother-in-law coming in. Yeah. Her mom's moving to New York. But we were going to move too because we're in a studio. Yes. But the location's so good and moving so stressful and I don't know. Well, it just costs so much to move. And it costs so much It does to cost move. a lot, but. But then you could be there for a long, this could be your, this are you is looking forever, your forever, forever home? home. Um. <laughs> no, that's not my favorite home, honey. <laughs> my favorite home is to be in Hudson Valley, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a farm. You, you do I'm gonna farm. I, I, want, I love Hudson Valley. That's my vibes. Yeah, fall is my favorite season, and I feel like in, in Hudson Valley it can be fall all year round because everything's there's farms and there's there's horses and there's. You white are gonna ride fences. a horse. I'm not gonna ride them. I'm gonna have sex with them and put it on the internet. <laughs> oh my god, you make so much money. I know. You know gay is doing. I think. I think lesbians getting fucked by a horse are more. Not lesbians. Women getting fucked by a horse is better than a gay guy getting because you know we bleed out. Yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> not from a view standpoint, just anatomically, right. we bleed. Um, we bleed out. We bleed That's out. That's why a, a woman ble- should have sex with a horse because we bleed out. I Thank saw- you, Joey, for that. <laughs> Did you see the video of the guy that got fucked by a horse? Mr. Hands, yes. of course. And his, 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 his spleen erupted died. and he died. Yeah. His spleen. Something happened. Something not good. Can we pull up Mr. Wait, Hands? Wait, can you do an impression of, I didn't know he had of the man that you bought pills from and he said, yellow up, pills. Make the voice that you make. Uh, yeah, what's up? You want Adderall? <laughs> That's, what does this have to do with anything? 
I just I love when you hear a cartoon oh, voice. Yeah. Well, he actually lost his spleen, so there's a tie in there. Jeez. That's called a callback in the biz. I Pull remember up the seeing video that of Mr. Hands man. That video, I didn't know it was called Mr. Hands. <laughs> yeah, you can I, look up Mr. Hands. It'll come. I remember. Right up. I haven't seen this video in years. Oh, can you pull it up. Yeah, I want to oh, watch him get fucked. Man. Well, the it's, thing on, is, it's on his tab. He no, has it on, on the tab no, the thing is, it's once the horse like puts in a little, and then it thrusts, and when it thrusts is when he dies. Wait, Emma, can I say how happy that, to be that we are that you're here? I'm so happy to be well, here. Not I'm because, so proud not because of you guys. We, not only because we love you, but also because I feel like we like we had to like I had a rough day so far, and I feel like this isn't working. I feel like we're just hanging out with our friend talking. Oh, I appreciate Honestly, that. That's why I'm saying this is that's why body language is the way I am. I also owe you guys an apology because the last time I was here, I was doing laundry and I wore a sweatshirt that was given to me when I did another show in the network, which is just so weird that I wore another. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't even care. thinking. I know, but I was like, that please. was rude of me, and I apologize. Please, please, please. Do you have the video of the horse killing I, the man by? I, by, I, I don't have the penis? video, but there are plenty of articles. Um, you got to go on the dark it. web, dear. So this, when I saw this video, I'll never forget. I was in college, and I remember the guy who lived across the hall from me. His girlfriend had just left him. And because I, he was he fucking horses. Because of, of the horses. His name was Mr. Hans, <laughs> and he. He stuck his head out of his door when I was like coming home, and he obviously like hadn't shaved in a couple days. And he was like, "Hey, you want to see something weird?" He's been beating off furiously for <laughs> yeah, days right? to the fact. This is my new shit. And then he pulled that, and I was like, "Yeah, but I'm going to dinner with my mom later." And then <laughs> what the he fuck? pulled it up. I watched a bit and a second of it, and I was like, "Ah!" And he was like, "Right." And then I had dinner with my <laughs> he mom. Was he, had a right? he had an oozing bone, and he goes, "Right." And exactly. then the whole dinner, I was kind of like picturing the horse fucking the guy, and my mom was like, "Are you, what are you all right?" About? And I was just, I couldn't didn't want to tell her. Yeah, but where it did, really where did was you go to college? Simmons in Boston, <gasps> all women's. And I was I gonna say that's like it must have been a you must have just been. That's slaying. where it came out. Really? Yeah, that's where, where you, it came out. Like you were like, did they embrace you? I'm like, oh, sisterhood, we love you. Or they're like, you fucking dyke, don't look at our tits. It was probably the latter, right? When I went in, I was straight for like two days. I said I was in the closet. I said I, I am, and <laughs> I had a, days, I had a huh? spiel about it because I had a friend that you know, someone I just met, and she was like, you know, my roommate's gay, and I was like, oh, good for her, and she said, are you gay? And I said, no, 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 but I'm comfortable with myself, so I've thought a lot about it. That's and I know that how not. it starts. That's if what I said. was, I'd be, and then I said, by the way, will you, your roommate cute? And she, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. it was real like, quick. Can you get me Natalie and Brigitte's haircut by my, by right. noon? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a look back then. I didn't cut my hair till after college. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. The so you had long hair, but the ponytail, you know, when it's like so tight, and did you shave it on the back? I you had a navy ponytail. But it was like never, yes. A military yes. bun. You had and a military bun. Always <laughs> so tight and I never. And I, ha I had a side done. bang. Yes. <laughs> that's, like the, that, the, that's the equivalent of a military bun for gays. Yeah, a side bang. Oh, a sweeping curtain side bang. Oh, a highlighted bang. Caramel, a caramel highlighted bang. Yes. I haven't seen one of those in so long. Mm -hmm. Since the mid 2000s. The side bang. It was all women. And I remember visiting the school because I was in the closet then. We did the tour with my mom, and I remember she said, you know, it's all women, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of lesbians here. And I said, well, I bet they keep them hidden for yeah. the tour. And she went, I don't think they can do that. And I was like, of course they can't do that. <laughs> of course they can't do that. You step on one foot, you go, I'll, I'll go here. Right, exactly. <laughs> this one's for me, Ma. And then I went and I came out pretty, uh, yeah, I would say like within like four days. I said, I'm bisexual. Then I said, you know, I'm gay. To your mom? No. To the friends at school. To fr people at the school. And they're like, okay, get in line. Just right. don't talk to Heather. She's mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back up, bitch. <laughs> Do you think if you were a girl, you'd be a lesbian? Me? Yeah. Um, No, I crave dick too much. Right, I know. Yeah. That's the, yeah, I love dick. That's the. It's insatiable. It's that's insatiable the kicker. thirst. I mean, I, could, I think I would be, uh, I don't, I, I would love to that. I'd feel so, I'd feel so like masculine. I if think I was I, a woman. No, if I was a lesbian. Oh, you would be butch. I'd be much more yeah. butch than yes. I am now. If I was a woman, I'd be yes. a, a more. I think I would go full femme, whereas you would be more butch, butch. queen. I could so yeah. see that. Yeah, now I would serve butch I queen. I could so see that. Yeah, like I'm growing my hair out now. This will kind of. Well, turn you notice the color. The color. Yes. She was using sun in all summer long. Yeah. Nice. We were on a boat. I we, were, see it. we went fishing on a boat, and she was spraying sun in in her hair. You guys went fishing. Did it's you so want cute. To see what we killed. Yeah. Can you pull it up? That's a what fun activity. If you go to my Instagram, you'll see it on the thing. We killed like a 300 pound fish. I was laying in the yeah. front of the boat, throwing up seasick. I was he was. I was smoking Parlo like, 100s, drinking Mamitas, yeah. and just like Kiki. It was you brutal. You just clicked in and became a fisherman? I loved it. Wow. I thrived. I got a whole, like, my whole costume from Huck Clothing. Huck Clothing, we like Huck. Should we have a fishing sponsor? That would Weirdy be so fun. If you guys did like a fishing trip or something. All just outdoorsy like That'd be shit. so, or what if we, you guys did like a cruise? You cr oh, that gay would be fun. Gay cruise is your gay worst cruise. nightmare. I, no, cruises in general. cruise for like people that listen to the show. That would be fun. I don't know if I, Jesse Carson said to do that too. She yeah. said, go on the fucking cruise and perform. I thought that I don't know fun. if I can handle a cruise. Why? 
So it's just, you are trapped. It, no, it's, it's not that I'm it's, trapped. It's fine, but it's the level of I'm a high I'm a high class hooker. I can't. You are no. He's a high end Vegas. High end Vegas. No, I need oh. I need like luxury things. I can't deal with like you buffets. Do, you need and, a silicone based lube. You need. You could do a fancy you know, cruise. They have fancy cruises. Yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. I mean, and then they have these boats that are much smaller and are like super luxury. That's what I want. Where do they find yes. those? Not not the Carnival Cruise. Fucking Buzzards Bay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's about imagine that's a luxury. England. What's Buzzards Bay? <laughs> that's where we. Uh, it's in Cape, in Cape Cod. Cape, yeah. I don't think they have luxury cruises. No, they have pill problems in Boston yeah. Whalers. I can't get it up on the screen right now. But God, there it is. Damn. Look at that thing. Isn't wow, that crazy? did you guys eat that thing? We ate the heart. They made us, while we were there, they cut out the heart and we had to take a fucking bite oh my of God, the you, heart. My Botox, you hurt my Botox. I tried to move my face so much, my Botox <laughs> just hurt. Your forehead looks you, smooth. Let me get you that video, Vinny, of us and we can put it in the clip. Eating a fucking heart, it was you guys, foul. Ew, what? Wait, uh, don't you have to prepare a heart in like a really certain way so it's not like... This oh, guy just I fucking... Just bit it. It tastes like iron. Oh, it was so sick. I didn't mind it. It's supposed to be really good for you. Tuna heart? To all hearts, organs, because I was like looking at eating or I was like doing a superfood Google dive. And that's like that's that man that made his whole thing liver king. Yeah. He bites livers on TV. Like, but he oh. was just a steroid guy. Right. He's juiced up. Oh, he wasn't eating the other. The, the no, he was, liver? but he would also have like 25 units of HGH yes. like every fucking morning. Which do whatever you want to do, but just if you're saying you're getting something from something, be honest about where you're getting your stuff from. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, we're talking to you about Mamitas Tequila Seltzer. The taste of summer never ends with Mamitas Tequila Seltzer. No shaker, no problem. Iconic tequila cocktails with just the crack of a can, no matter the season. We're reaching for a refreshing Mamitas. Shelby, it's the official day drinking drink of your friends, but I'm going to go one step further. I'm saying this is the official drink of the holidays. You know, I said it. I don't care. I like it. Tequila is not just for the summertime. It's for any time, and it's refreshing. It's only 95 calories, gluten-free, yep. uh, less, less than two grams of sugar, and the flavors are delicious. They're crisp. They're light. Um, you get the cocktail pack. They have all different flavors there for like cocktails, but the classic flavors are delicious as well. Um, and they're just they're healthy. They're gluten free, ninety five calories, only two grams of sugar. Um, Mamitas. It's fantastic. I, I'll tell you this: we have the cocktail pack, like I said, Paloma, Spicy Marg, Classic Marg, Tequila Sunrise, all that. I love the tequila lime. And enough of this, like, oh, the te tequila's over. It's the fall. We got to switch drinks. What are you, a child? No, you drink what you like to drink throughout the year. And just because the leaves are changing doesn't mean your drink of choice shouldn't be. And that is Mamitas. Find Mamitas near you at drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff. Drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff. And if you drink a Mamitas, tag Joey and I. We'll repost you on our socials and on Out and About. Back to our interview with Emma. Like, I try, if yeah. someone says, like, even with the working out, like, I had the time and could get the trainer. I don't think I, I couldn't have done it. People who have kids, I have so much respect for that because I'm like, I couldn't have done, there's no Do you have a way. trainer right now? I do. How My much, friend Ian. How often do you do it? And how much well, does it cost? So yeah, here's the tell thing. Us what, tell us about the trainer. We did like a two, we did like a two, three month body recomp. So I've been doing it because I was in town for a good stretch. We were working out like four days a week. What do you mean body recomp? So we're t lose, we'd lose in fat, gain in muscle. Because I said to him, I said, I want to look like Channing Tatum. And I wanted him to say, you're already there. You got this. But he looked <laughs> at me girl. and he went, we have a lot of work to do. And I went, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> And then it's like really specific. Like, and it starts with you opening your checkbook. Right. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to do you have to work out with him at a special gym or he go he comes to your it's comes a special to Lucille gym. Roberts? Oh, so you just go to see him. I go to see him because it's got like certain equipment and then we like really learn how to do each thing. Yeah, Can so you tell us how much expensive how expensive it is? It's pretty expensive. Every how much how do you pay every month, every week? I pay every month. Every month. Eight hundred a month? More. more. I have to think about it. All right, it's we don't want to. But say. I will say this: but it is a, it, it is an, it's the biggest investment I made in myself. Okay, but go. that's good because yeah. the, the ROI is huge for right. your life. But you said it's very specific. What do you mean? It's by that? so specific because we do the same. So he'll do it in training blocks where it's like we do five moves, five different days a week, or four different days a week, five different moves, and then each week we add a weight either add a rep or add a weight and then we do it to muscle failure and then you do a deload week and then you start over again. Oh, so you are like, he's got it. Is he a military you're man? Mapped out. He's not, but it feels like that. Yeah. And it's very like, it's not, because I've seen trainers before. I've had some great trainers, but it's like, it's not, what does he call it? Trainertainment. He's like not, it's not, you're not being entertained while you're in there. It's like, boom, 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 boom. I love that. And you I get like along with too. him or does he scare you? I get along with him. He's really nice. So I think he's I would like, does, does he give you no, this? No, not gay. Does he give you like, um, because I would need a little bit of softness in my thing. I can't have military all the time. He's um, not it's very as hot military. as it sounds. No, it's as hot as it sounds. But I would need someone to be like, you know, like realize 
girl, I'm going through it today. And like, yes. give me a break one day. That is a thing. Yeah. And you know what's actually, so I've had that before and then I've been scared that he's going to be like mad at me and then he'll, yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, I was nervous when I like did the co- the cookie thing or he knows I've yeah. got stuff We all have food. mental illness. So <laughs> it's like. He literally said that. He was like, he was like, I knew going into this with you that, you know, you had other things going on mental health wise. And, yeah. and I was like, I'm in therapy. I'm da da da. But he said, he was like, you know, the gym will still be here like when you like work through that or whatever. Just make but sure to get my check cleared. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I was scared to be mad at me and I don't know why. It's like we're working together, but I was like, oh no, he's going to think I'm stupid. Like, you, know, you don't want to let him down. You're working on something together. Right. It's a team project. So he's he's invest, as invested as you are in it and you feel like you're letting your, your portion of the deal down. Right. And you're like, you're like, you're like, oh fuck, I didn't show up to work now. Like, he's got to work extra hard or he's, it was a waste of his time. Right. It is. It's, I can never see where it's like, it's but you, they do like the best shape I was ever in was when I did boxing and oh. I got, it was, I remember going in, I never run for a half hour in my life. I did like a half hour of like light jogging and I got off. I was like, okay, I'm going to go. He was like, I'm sorry. He's like, that was your warm up. I was like, I'm sorry. Excuse me. And then it's not like, oh, we're going to target your lat and this and that. He was like, floor, sit up. Push. But it beat my body yes. down so bad. I feel like I need specific to like. Get. Very specific. I just need food. I just don't know what to do with food. You and soak your food down. He does that too. He does like a whole thing. That was the, because he said, you need to be getting more fat, more fat and more carbs. And I was like, do you want to get married? That's what I felt like yeah. when he said yeah. that. He said more fat, more carbs That's and less pizza protein. To me. That's what I think. I don't know what a fat and a carb is. Fat. I don't know what a carb is. I'll, I'll tell you what a carb is. So yeah, what the fat fuck carb, is Okay, if you want to talk about fat and carbs, he means like carbs uh, for your brain. Okay, no, you can uh, avocado carbs are toast. Pastas avocado and... toast is a perfect um, thing of fat and carbs. You get the good fat from the avocado, and you get the car- the whole wheat and the carbs from that. Or it could be something like um, potatoes. Potato Starch. with boiled yeah. potatoes. Potatoes boiled. with you know, but I don't want to boil them. That's too much work. I know I that is a bit. Fucking pot, and I gotta do the thing. That's I did too much. boil a potato a couple times, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But you I microwave potatoes very easy. Just yeah, poke a fork in it. That's what my, I was so shunned when I told someone that I microwaved it. They're like, you microwave a potato? No, like, fucking you that's, how, that's how they do it for a quickness. I, I now do I frozen in, vegetables. In you do frozen yeah. veggies? Yeah. Because I'm like, what? and I put ketchup, I got this like sugar-free ketchup I'll put on a lot of stuff. Oh, which but one now, from Ken- Sir Kensington? It's G. Hughes. It actually is pretty good. But now we're out of the diet phase. So this is my first time, because in, pa- in the past, anytime I did like a cut phase, then- it would just be like a shit show afterwards. So now he was like, okay, You'll now binge. we're stopping. Yes. And now he like raised it. Now I just am eating a bunch Does of Does the lady stuff. follow your diet with you? Are you eating all your meals together? Or she's, she's eating whatever she wants? We'll eat separate and then go out That's to tough. dinner. Like it is tough, but she's really, t- she's known I've got stuff with this for like years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, I mean, it's tough because I've got so much like emotional stuff wrapped up in it too. Yeah, we're, we're television stars. We have to be on point at all times. I was trying to think. I was like, what's something I can control? And then I was like, okay, this is something I can kind of control. And I just felt like shit all the time, too. What, because of the food you're eating? Yeah, I was just, I remember one time, it was like four months ago, I was in a hotel and I had eaten the entire mini bar <laughs> and oh, I had no. ripped open the Skittles and I was going like this. And then my girlfriend was meeting me and she was like, what's going on with you? And I was like, why didn't you tell me I used to look like a Greek god? And she was like, oh my God. She goes, are you pregnant? You go, no, I just had 35 Twix bars. It was, (laughs) and it was just me stressed. And then once I crossed that line, I'm like, ah. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I need to figure out the food. We both need to fit. We're doing a good thing. Cutting down on the booze. You cut down That's on the booze. Huge. I'm a, I, became a weed, I had cut down the booze a lot because I'm a weed queen now. Because um, my diet plan originally was if I, I, I'm i drinking and then I'm eating anyway. So right. everyone says, like, you know, like when you're a pothead, you eat too much. She said, but the thing is, I was eat, I was drinking 5,000 calories literally a night, like guzzling wine, sure. like 10 bottles of wine, <laughs> and then picking out a McDonald's. So it's like, I was going to do that anyway. Now I'm saving all the calories from the weed and just to be taking the weed. And then, you know, if I do eat, I eat, but you know, but the weed, I, f- I find I pass out before I can even get to eat. Mm. On the opposite, I'll eat, I can eat anything. Also, look at, uh, they say homosexuals can't sit in chairs correctly. Look at the three of us. Right I know. Now. That's what, look I've never, at the three of us. I've this never, is like, here, I'm like, tell me I've about never, your food, girl. I, I've <laughs> never heard is, that, but I can't sit in a chair correctly. Oh, yeah. No, no that's a whole thing. It's a homosexual I didn't know that was thing. a thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is very funny. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get my, I'm going to take control of my health this year. I'm happy for you. You got to just break down into little bits. I was on too. the Mediterranean diet for, for long, and then this move is stressing me out. So I stopped yeah. the Mediterranean diet. He texts me. He goes, I had a slip up. <laughs> this, is, this is at about it one happens. in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to soak my food down. I put, I put Domino, I put, I'm um, sorry, so on soap on my food. Yeah. If I, so I don't eat the rest of it. I get that. Yeah. I've done that. I did that actually in the hotel room because yeah. the school I did gave me all this like 
peanut butter cookies. And so I took some. So and then I sweets as much more. You're <laughs> sweets, yeah. Yeah, and then I put like some soap on it and I put it in the trash. And then when I woke up, bing, I think because I didn't give myself enough of those cookies, that's what made me go, I'm going to get all the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was sifting through the trash. Then I went down to the yeah, lobby. See, I, you went full raccoon. Everyone thinks it's so crazy. They, but I, I, uh, no, uh, more of us have gone through the trash than not have not. Yeah, I know. I, d- I didn't know that was a thing. I picked things out. Before. I took a used condom out of Vinny's trash once, and I ate the load. Yeah, holler! And, and by Vinny's trash, you mean the trash in this studio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be the biggest compliment. Someone drinking your cum out of a condom, wouldn't it? Guilty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be that'd be like if I was a guy and someone drank my cum out of the condom. Be, what know. an honor! I know. Well, that's why we do it. <laughs> that's why we have a peel box. It's three 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 Seventh Avenue, second floor. Attention, Vinny. Yeah. Uh, my lo- my load my load seeker dot com. Yeah, gentlemen, send your loads on in. Did, did, if you got one load, I'd be so excited. If I, if someone sent if you are listening to this, send us a load in a condom. Is that what we're asking for? Yeah, I mean, do you want to go ahead <laughs> do and we really give? Do, this? do you want to go ahead and give them the? I did give the address three 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 Seventh Avenue, second floor. Attention, Vinny. What's your last name? Detrolio. Detrolio. Oh yeah, that's Italian. No, he's uh, gonna. If he, wait, if he gets. No, if he gets one, he's gonna keep it for himself. He's not gonna share it with you. He's a greedy, he's a greedy pig. Never he's know. a greedy load pig. He's such a greedy load pig. Um. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of loads, yes. what's up with your new podcast? Okay, I got a new podcast. It's called <laughs> Ask Men Anything, and it's on Betches Media. So women are really in- oh, we yes. love Betches, yeah, we and do. that women are really in control of the conversation because I've always gotten along really well with men, mm-hmm. and then I'd have female friends be like, "Why do they do this? Why do they do that?" So I was like, "You know what? I just want to bring this show onto air so I can ask questions for people that they maybe wouldn't want to ask if the guy was there answering in real time." Can we be on the show? I would be honored. Oh, well, do you have, have to be fun. gay to be a straight people on the show? No, and of course so not. So you have male guests. On and mm-hmm. then women writing questions for your guests, and, and then I'll them. ask them. That's a great because I've concept. got no skin in the game for in terms. Not that all women are attractive, but you know, if you're like yeah. maybe attracted to someone, it's yeah. like maybe or maybe you just don't want to be there for the response or whatever. Yeah. So then I'm asking the questions, and I'm interested. I am really like interested in like yeah. what is masculinity? What is this stuff? Like how does it affect the individual? Don't ask this girl. <laughs> it's, uh, well, everyone actually is pretty baffled. Like lots of people are like like people. I was surprised were were like oh yeah I struggle with it like. Super like jockey guys too, which like I was they surprised. Think they're by. too masculine. No, they said I don't. I was talking to like Francis. Also, was, he said it on the show. He was really. He was amazing. He was like, well, he's it's a closet queen. No, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it's something I struggle with, like my place in, like how to be do it right, and like how it's changed, and like yeah. what I'm supposed to do, but not be part of the problem. And I was, he was like, I think about that all the time. He calls his his, his wife his partner. Mm-hmm. Does he? Yeah, he goes, my partner and I. I always get thrown oh. by that. <laughs> He's Whenever the bottom of the mic the whole time. Sorry. <laughs> Whenever someone does that, I want. I'm like, are you gay or or no? Yeah. <laughs> Not that when someone says partner, partner right? yeah, partner or the mic. Um, no, that's an interesting concept. I like. We had the who did we have on Lauren Ooh. Compton? I follow was her that on the, Instagram. The Playboy. Oh, the hot girl. She has such a great concept with her show because it's like she just does like questions and it's mm. like appetizer main course whatever and we even do like a little advice we're doing advice now on Love our that. show and yeah people will write in and it's like the craziest stuff but to be able to ask it anonymously and especially if you have a guest on like francis or us hopefully someday, absolutely yeah. we'll answer anything i think it's i think it's fascinating and we do this one two where it's an apology surrogate so it's like we can't get the guy to apologize so you guys could write into this too if any guy has done something where you're like i want an apology we can't get him to apologize, but I'll have the male guest on apologize. How so much time I do you have? Punish. How much time? Dave Hornet to I apologize. Just a, I just had a feeling that maybe yeah. So if you guys have an apology yeah. you want, I'll get the guy. The one we feel we're owed. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Are you wearing eyeshadow? Am I wearing eyeshadow? Yeah. Well, close your eyes. That's eczema. Why are your eyelids so red? Just I, in the center. Do you know why? Because Were you going four your, months ago, my he bed? put fucking makeup on me. Right. And it has never been this, literally four months, it has never been the same. What did I use on you? I don't, God only knows what fucking chemical. Oh, when I sprayed your face? Yes. It, oh, it is, is kind of red. red. It's never been the same since. Joey. What did you, know, you put on him? So, first apology, surrogate. I would like Joey to <laughs> apologize. <laughs> to re apologize. I don't know, maybe that was the, um, well, I was. I don't test on animals. I was. I only test on supermodels. <laughs> Thank. Oh, now, he, now she will butter me up. But I couldn't find one, so I. Oh, here on this it fucking, is. This and and now that's the, now that's that's Reed. Reed <laughs> came before. <laughs> Reed. Yeah, she has. She has. She has a terracotta eyelid. Yeah. Um, a, Just, brassy, a brassy, a brassy side sweat bang. A brassy side sweat. Bang. Swept bang. Swept bang. Do you guys put makeup on before your live shows? I do, yeah. Yeah. She sometimes she'll ask for, for, for a little touch up. He'll get rid of my bags or something. That's I'm wearing a full beat today. I get it. You look <laughs> great. Ball. Well, because the trolls come after me. I the trolls coming after you? 
Oh yeah, they call me a fat pig all day long. Ugh. A disgusting old fat pig. Joey's off the Ozempic. You're a fucking um, glutton for it though. Don't pretend there's a party that enjoys it. I hate that. Well, stuff. my haters are my my motivators. Mm. Get a girl. <laughs> Get a girl. <laughs> my haters are my. Now she will go full Lux Noir. Yeah. Oh God. Um, live shows are what made me start wearing makeup too because I was like I w- don't want to look so washed out and then yeah. I started so wearing makeup goes a long way. yeah and you go oh or like you look great your color, hair color looks great your thank skin you. looks great everything's Pre- good um, I would got uh, the skin what helped me with skin was uh, Accutane I ended up going oh. on it I wasn't going to do it because I had cystic acne for years and I kept saying it dries like, you out dries, it, I microdosed it so it didn't dry me out because I was also afraid of getting depressed on it Oh, because it's supposed to make you depressed. So I'm like, I can't play around a with that. A skin thing is making. Would you rather be depressed or have, or have good skin? Depressed. Yeah. I was like, no, I would I rather have. I would rather have bad that. skin, obviously. I then I got there. I was like, well, maybe I'd rather be more. more you know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I went used on the it. depression. And then it did clear it up, and I yeah. didn't get depressed from it. Thank. But you probably you're eating cleaner now. You're sweating. Like for me, if I sweat yeah. like twice in a week, my skin is just. I mean, it's already gorgeous. I love it'll just sweating. Clear right up. Yeah. Why do you keep getting out of your chair, Vinny? Because how we're talking about moving a lot. She's Sorry. she's moving. She's Sorry. moving a lot. I want to make sure she's on. I want to make sure I she looks good. Oh, I thought you were trying to show. I, for doing her I was job. trying to he's show. He's so showing too. his outfit off to me. <laughs> he's already told him not to wear that this slutty is, outfit this around here. This is the here. least slutty outfit I've worn in front of you. Joey no, wanted him in a no. That shirt is hugging them titties. He wanted him in a full burka with a face screen. He tried to require it for Marty, and he tried to require it for Vinny. So the folk focuses on me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> HR shut it down, unfortunately, <laughs> which is why we're, uh, we've are we henceforth moved our show um, to the nation. When's of- your next live show? My what? next live show, I'm going to be in Austin, October 27th, 28th, and Boston, November 16th. We're in Boston. Laugh Boston. We just were there. Yeah, yeah I saw I that. Love I love Laugh. I love Laugh Boston. And I love Boston as a city. For yeah. yep. Austin's really fun, too, but I also I think that's so fun that you guys are touring and doing live stuff. Yeah, I too. love it. I we bet like that's it. a... We Good have time. Jersey. Is this already we out? got Jersey, Philly, Chicago, Tampa. I think Philly Woo! is just about sold out. Chicago sold out. Um, nice. Jersey is like we're we're a little confused what's going on with Jersey, but we have faith. Yeah. Um, and then Tampa's tough because it's the day after Thanksgiving. Damn, that is tough. Right, we're not gonna. Are we but gonna everyone's off work? Huh? Everyone, everyone's off work. Well, that's what I said. And you know what? Honestly. We go down there and we break even. We do a show right. at a new market. Have a couple drinks. Come back. Whatever. It's a fun Tampa's weekend. Tampa's fun. Side splitters is where we're going. I'm pro Florida. Like I've yes. always liked Florida because it's so different from where I grew up. And I love like malls, the driving, the beaches. I like, I mean, I know. The pill mills. I, pill mills. I know yep. there's like lots going on. I've always been like Florida and I was in Tampa last year, I guess. I, I had a good time. But that's the Northeast in you. That's the I snowboard. Know. And that's, you know what that is? That's a little bit of white trash in you. A little bit. Because everyone from Mass who I know who goes down to Florida, they go to fucking Mako Island, dude. Right. They go, you know what I'm talking about. They and go you to love Tampa. It. Oh, it's the, it's the most fun you can have. You just bitch about it. You don't like the heat. I hate it. It's too hot for me. Yeah. I love the heat. No. I like, I like to be 55 degrees is my perfect temperature. It's like my girlfriend. Love it. I could, like, I could sleep in 40 degree if I had to. Um, but I love, I love to, I had my window open last night for the first time. The crisp oh, air, fall is where I thrive. Mm. Yeah. Fall is my season. Same with her. She I'm loves a fall. It. I'm, I'm not autumn. And the apartment's always so fucking cold. I love it. it I, I, it's hard for me. One time I left my, 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 I was away. I had to go on a trip for work and I left the window open. This was in the middle of the winter. And I came home. My whole apartment o- froze over like the North Pole. Not even kidding you. The toilet water was f- ice, was frozen solid. <sighs> Ah. Every one of my plants was fucking dead. Everyone died. The whole the whole house died. The whole all the plants died. The window he his boyfriend I don't know, shattered. A, he his boyfrond in a no, cage. No, no. He had been right. frozen out. I had I had this bottle of um it was an old bottle of vodka that I filled with water. It was a skull one. You know the Gross. skull? Yeah. So I had it filled with water because it was a decor piece that looked cute cute to my thing. Sure. That thing exploded everywhere and the and the frozen skull was just on the ground everywhere. Ice ships and glass everywhere. What was this? This was this winter, past winter. Uh, I, my whole apartment, I had to turn the oven on. My hands were like almost I had to, I almost had my hands uh, amputated because they were so fucking cold. And um the toilet water took out like um like a day to unfreeze. I couldn't even use the bathroom. You have to piss through it? The pipes would the, the sink wouldn't go on. Mm. My whole I was that cold. Did you hate it? I got, no, I, I, it was a little much for me. Yeah. Because it was below zero in there. But, um, and there was like, you know, like little, sn- like, like snow piles in my bedroom. But, but that had nothing to do with the temperature. Yeah. I want to cook. I like being really hot. Oh. oh. I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I want to like, like I got one of those little sauna bags. I'm in it all the time. What's a sauna bag? It's like this little, like a. It's a sweat you sack. You wrap yourself in it and then it's that infrared sauna. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love yeah. it. What's it do? It just makes it your just bones feel It just heats you up. Good? Were you born in the winter, summer? 
Uh, December twentieth. I don't know why I had to oh. think about that. <laughs> I always have this. I always have this like thing where like if you're whatever month you were born in, that's the weather that you like. Maybe because I was yeah. born in January third, and I thought I was I like being cold, but she's in the winter too. So she likes. And being I hot. hate the cold. I'd rather hot than cold. The worst thing in the world for me is if you're wa- I'm like burping is if you're walking down the street and you get a gust of wind up your shirt. Mm. Uh, it's like the oh, worst. I want my nipples to cut glass. Well, they can now thanks to Chuck Chuchella. <laughs> Did you guys hang out in Boston a little bit, or just do the show? Um, and head he out? doesn't hang out when he, when we go to shows. He just goes right back to his room. I do that a lot. But too. Um, yeah. I think. didn't know. I I, I kind of like. I just kind of. I just kind of <laughs> hung out for the night and decided when I had a couple of drinks with some some business people afterward. But then I uh, yeah I didn't. Who's some I, business people? It was you know, an advertiser that was trying to work with us. Yeah. Nice. It was, uh, what did I say? That's what did I say? I'll get off stage, I'll go, oh my God, what did I do? What did I, what did I, I just like, done? I'm so thrilled and happy yep. with the show. I'm like, what did I say? I can't believe I did this. That's <laughs> what I'll think afterwards. I'm like, where the, how did, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah. But it's a good time, you know, yeah. November 16th. Last Is this your first time in the, in the, um, in the, She's from Maine. I know, but it's your first time in the podcast game, or did you? Did you have? No, I had a pod. Mateo Lane and I had a podcast for like oh, you did. seven years. I want him on the yeah. show. He's oh, great. you did. He's great. Tell we him to so come much. on. So we did the podcast. We started it. Maybe it was like. I'll let him eight know it's about me ago. and not him when he gets okay. on. Okay. <laughs> We Thank started you. it, and we did. We started it like before everyone had a podcast, and then we just did not advance our technology like one iota. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we just kind of did it for fun, like as like the, our weekly catch up. So we did that for like seven years, and then we stopped about two years ago. Yeah, yeah. And then I used to co-host with Taylor Strecker. Oh, very good. Cool. Yeah, she's great. Once a week, so I love podcasting. I love radio stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. It's also like I like the medium because you can like explain yourself a little yes. more. Get There's some no context. Rush. Have have I do need to answer this very quickly. This is my of food course. delivery, if you don't mind. What kind of food? Hello? Hi, I'm here on the second floor. I have a food delivery. Yeah, you can just leave it on that little table right outside the door. Thank no, no, you. No, just make sure the address. Which is the address? 333 7th Avenue. No, because I have a 337. Okay, well, it's it's 333. Could you walk over here? Okay, the, which company? Barstool Sports. 333 7th Avenue, second floor. Barstool the, the Sports? Yes, 333 7th okay. Avenue. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you so much. Um, Where did you order food from? Bangladesh? Uh, I ordered uh, Springbone Kitchen. Chicken Love Springbone. You do? It's how yeah. it is this place? Why does everyone talk about this for? Where it's is good. It? Uh, I don't even know where it I is. I have no idea. I have no, that's the fuck with delivery. Like, we, where does this stuff come from? No, I have no idea. It could be made in a fucking gutter for all no I know. No clue. It shows up. It's, it's got halal vibes, which I don't mind, to be honest. Oh, what is Not this? a problem with it. What's wrong with you? Do you want to have any deliveries you want to check or anything on your phone? I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate okay. that. We're just checking. What's going on Social with you? media is advice. I'd say that's advice for me. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. It ruins my life. It ruins my mental health. And you know what I think? It ruined my relationship. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know one thing I've like learned from it. Like even when I'm on it for hours afterwards, no. if you go, if, you, if you're like, what'd you, what'd you just watch? I don't know. Every once in a while, like we've really, I've really worked hard to craft my algorithm to get it to where I like. It's mm. a lot of, you know. Um, people falling down. It's a lot of dancing. Mm. It's a lot of like disability sob stories. I was in, um, you know, I was in burn TikTok for a while. It gets uh, very dark, but I don't really learn anything. And from those it. you can't swipe. Those swiping away from those is you're like, I gotta stay on that. Yes, you can. Yeah. And then it makes it worse. Like, what? What's your algorithm right now? TikTok. Yeah. Oh, um, you were an amputee talk for a while. I never got on that. No, no, no. I'm on TikTok. It's always. Collegiate boys with bulges. Yeah, it's always it's always that. But then there's, I get into like home decor now. That I'm doing lots of home decor. Amazon finds. I'm oh, on. home decor is huge. I love on home that. decor. Or um, they, they make those like the mini, things mini. Did you ever get on that yes. one? Where it's Ooh, like, look, no. it's a tiny pancake. And, the, and you some like mini things. And yeah, and then you're watching it like. Mm, I got on that for a little bit. I got on pancake TikTok. Pimple Pan? popper. I love uh, pimple it. Pop, I'm, on, I'm on pimple popper. I'm on Give nails. Give me a gross foot. No, the, the foot. Clean the it up. Toenail cleanup. It's my favorite. I maybe need to switch over that because pimple popper is getting to be too much. Yeah. It's like, it, at some point, I feel like she's going to just- cleaning. I can I get into lancing. that. Oh, the, with the plaque and the water thing? That sounds satisfying. Yeah. But pimple popper, I feel like it's like the pimples have to get bigger and bigger. And I feel like at some point, she's just going to like kill someone on air. She pops their head with That's a bullet. That's what I'm picturing. Yeah. Like, I feel like yeah. we're like enabling her to just keep going. Oh, here's and our then, next one. Boom. Yeah. Because sometimes yeah. I feel like they're like cis. But now there's virtual games that you can play. Like there's like it's like video games you can play to pop pimples and extract things from the skin and like cut the toenails up. Why is it so satisfying? I don't know. Do you guys want to give each other pedicures? Oh God! I need one. I am sorry if you. I, I have feel my lady. Bad. You have your lady. Yeah. What's her name? Miriam. How often oh. do you go? 
I go once like a month. That's nice. Yeah. Just to touch up to get the hoof, the corn. Yeah, well, it's my, it's my me time. Me and Mira, I'm going to catch up. Your daughter's overseas. Mm. Oh, She's whereabouts? <laughs> She's in Beirut. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, we actually have a live show coming up in Beirut. Um, I know. What are your thoughts on the whole controversy, the Israeli controversy? There's <laughs> <laughs> It's such a controversy. Wait, I, we don't know what side to be on. Um, yeah. it's, that, that bloodshed is awful. Oh, and I'm only kidding. Let's talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so where can we get, where can people get tickets to your shows? And tickets to my shows are at springbonekitchen.com. Springbonekitchen.com. <laughs> <laughs> Springbone sounds like such a sex site. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Spring a boner, dude. Springbone. Yo, oh, my cocks. <laughs> it's uh, at immwilman.com and then podcasts, Ask Men Anything, wherever you get your podcasts. It's on Betches Media, so iTunes, Spotify, all the stuff. You're our favorite guest. I pre- you, you say that to all your guests. I no, know. I don't. It's so I really, easy to talk to. No, literally, yeah. like, like, I was so excited to leave, like after our um, our last meeting. Yeah. And now I'm just, I just, I'm just happy that I stayed because I got to hang out with a friend. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank guys. you for being. You're a doing, friend. and you're doing great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Elma Wilman. You can check her out everywhere. Fine podcasts are found. Thank you, guys. <laughs>